In this video, let's see how to do these illustrations inside SketchUp in less than 10 minutes. You won't need Photoshop or Illustrator to do this. I'm not saying don't learn Illustrator, but keep these tricks up your sleeve which are huge time savers, so you can use them whenever you are running out of time. We will go through this workflow to create these three images in this video. This model was done by Flashy G. He makes lot of good and detailed SketchUp models. You can download them from 3D Warehouse. You have to first select the color palette for your illustration. I chose these muted pastel colors. If you have any doubt regarding how to choose the color palette, you can go to colors.co. Here you can start generating within a second. You can toggle through the different palettes using spacebar. You can copy the color code directly and bring it into Photoshop. Once you have brought them into Photoshop, export each color as a JPEG or PNG and keep it aside for now. Coming back to the model, we have to bring the color scheme inside this model. We have to change all the materials in this model to match with the colors in our palette. So using the material picker tool, select a material, then go to edit, then click on browse for material image, then file. Make sure use texture boxes check. Then go to the location where you have saved the colors. Then pick a color you want to be applied. You can select any color which you want. By this time you must have somewhat of an idea where which color should come. Even if you don't have any idea, feel free to experiment with the colors. I didn't have a blue color in my palette because I didn't know this model had a water body in it. You can even adjust the material to match our muted vibe inside SketchUp. Select the material using material pick tool. Then click on click new material. Then increase the opacity to 100. And using the color wheel, you can select any color that you want. I selected a muted blue and then click OK. Now I started applying this new material to the water body. Use the color picker. Select the material. Go to edit and apply the color as a texture. Few minutes later. Once you are done applying all the materials according to your liking, we can move to the next step. The next step is adding people and trees. I didn't like the trees or people which came along with the model. So I deleted them completely. This is where my secret sauce comes to help. You can download this SketchUp file from the link in description. These are called as face me components. They are 2D components which always face the camera. So you won't get it as a flat image. This might not be useful when rendering using Lumion or Enscape, but they are a powerful tool inside SketchUp. In the file that you downloaded right now, you will get trees, people, clouds and so on. I didn't illustrate these people or trees. I downloaded them from various websites like pimpmydrawing.com, Studio Alternative and some may be from Tofuko and Google. I have collected and made this over a long period of time. I am sorry if I missed to give credits to someone. I just selected the whole bunch of stylized people and copied them. Bring them into the main SketchUp file. I don't need the white illustrated people for this one. Now all you have to do is move these people and place them wherever you want but make sure they have a function to be placed there and they suit the spot. Now let's repeat it and populate the whole model with these people. A few inches later. Now let's move to trees. I'm going to use the white outlined trees. Copy the trees that you want and take it inside the main SketchUp file. Start placing them according to your design and landscape. You can create differences by scaling and rotating the same tree. Now we have set everything in place. We have to start setting up the angles that we want to show our design in. You can do it in two ways. You can set the camera angles first, then do the steps whatever we did till now. And the second one is what I prefer. Do the initial steps, then set the camera angles. I prefer the second one because in this we can produce n number of illustrations at a single stretch once you are done with the initial steps. Now go to view, edge style and turn off profiles and edges. Then go to camera and click on two point perspective. Once this is done, you can move or pan around and start setting the angles. To add a bit more interest to the illustration, you can go to view and turn on shadows. And go to the shadows panel on the right and set the light value to 80 and dark value to 70. You can use the north angle plugin 
to control the sun direction so if you wanted to set a portrait shot you can drag and resize the default toolbar to get a portrait size that you want start setting up the angle that you like you can change the proportion whenever you want by readjusting the toolbar and start saving the scenes by clicking on this plus icon you can change the sun angle individually for each scene and save them i also wanted to add some birds you can just copy paste them scale it up or down if necessary and place it wherever you want in the scene these lines are used as control points for you to place these assets effectively and you can use them to rotate even though if they are placed in a long distance from the camera setup you can export the illustration by going to file export then 2d graphic before clicking on ok click on the options then uncheck use view size and increase the image size for better quality and then hit ok and click on export it's enough if you do this export setting once in the beginning of starting a new sketchup file moving on to the second illustration in this i followed the same steps as the previous one to get here now i wanted to add a painterly sky behind it so i made a vertical rectangle and rotated it to face the camera scale it up so you won't see the edges within the scene then create a new material and apply any sky image that you want as a texture and apply it to the rectangle select the face then right click select texture position then zoom into the control points and click and drag to scale the texture you can make the background plane into a group so that you can move it easily if needed you can change the background texture whenever you want by creating a new material and applying a different image as the texture now copy the noise plane and place it in front of the camera you may need to scale down the texture by right clicking and going to textures position you can even play with the opacity of the noise we can also turn on and off the edges to have different style of illustrations and once you are happy you can export the image finally let's see how to create a vibrant sectional illustration like this inside sketchup if you see here i can take section anywhere in this model and recreate the same style of illustration to do this go to style toolbar on right and click edit here you can change the color of the sky ground and even background then click on edge settings you can toggle on and off edges and profiles and even create some artistic style by playing with the values of end points and extension you can also change the color of the edges by selecting here now let's go to the rightmost option here you can change the color of the section fill color of the section line and you can also adjust the section line width value you can also save your favorite styles that you have created instead of recreating it from scratch every time hope you all found something useful in this video these are the final results you can create different style of illustrations once you are clear with the concept of it see you all in the next video